Testing, testing. So what happens when arguably the world's biggest pop star collaborates with arguably the world's most talented producer? Let's find out. Pop sensation and all-around world beater Dua Lipa has a new single out called Houdini. This is the first single from her upcoming third album, which we don't know many details about right now to be honest. And it comes after, to put it plainly, a bloody successful second album campaign. Most artists do fall victim to that dreaded second album syndrome, but not Dua. Future Nostalgia, her second studio album, took her from big to arguably the biggest. It was a great 80s inspired pop album that was just really well put together. But she didn't just stop there. She's now nominated for two Grammys for her fantastic song Dance the Night from the Barbie soundtrack. She's also now a fashion model for the world's most luxurious brands. And she's now a movie star as well. Oh, and she has a podcast. Is there anything this woman can't do? Pretty amazing what she's achieved in such a little time. She really is the it girl, do you know what I mean? Seemingly everybody wants to work with her. Mark Ronson, whoever the Hollywood moguls were behind the Barbie film. And she's now collaborated with Kevin Parker. Now, I'm not sure who decided to put Kevin Parker and Julie Leaper in a room, but smash that like button if you're all for it. That was kind of a stroke of genius. And I think that after Dewa's 80s inspired campaign on future nostalgia, and with subsequent releases like Dance of the Night, if she is coming back with a new album next year, then as a fan, I would want something new and fresh to look forward to. You know, I would have wanted the sound to have moved on a bit. And I think that that's exactly what she's consciously decided to do on this new song, by working with Kevin and Tame Impala. Her new album is rumoured to have a 90s, 70s inspired psychedelic vibe, which I'm quite excited for to be honest. And when I listened to Houdini for the first time, I really, really liked what I was hearing. Right from the first second of the song, when the beat kicks in, you just know it's Kevin. Signature Tame Impala sound. And when those synth chords come in, again, very signature Tame Impala, and very reminiscent of the synth sounds that we heard on the Slow Rush. Like, there are Juno synths all over this track. And I really like how the drums sound on this new tune as well. Although it sounds programmed, I think, they kind of sound too clean to be real drums. But they do sound like Kevin's signature drum sounds. They've not been popified, if that's a word. It's still his sound, and it's such a great groove, isn't it? Just makes you want to dance. Dewa's vocals also sound great, as always. One thought did kind of come into my mind as I was listening to the song though. Now, Tame Impala's songs have lots and lots of layers, and lots of complex song structures. Now, to boil down a seven minute Kevin Parker composition into a three minute pop song, how would that actually work? Well, for a start, in true pop style, the song doesn't really build. It just slaps you in the face. No time for small talk. Let's just get straight to the point. I like it. And there are elements of the production where I just think Kevin has nailed it. Like coming in with that descending synth pattern after the second chorus. Really catchy, memorable instrumental section there. But then there are elements of the production where I think Kevin looks like he's trying to bring in too many new elements into the song too quickly, given he's only got three minutes to play with. Like right at the end of the song where that synthy sort of bass riff comes in for like four bars. <laughs> It comes out of nowhere and it's really loud in the mix and it's a bit of a shock and then the song just ends. That's the kind of thing you'd hear a few times around in a Tame Impala song. Now, I also really do like the sentiment of the song and what it's about. Dew has said in a recent interview that the song is all about leaving a situation where you know it's not right for you, being strong and knowing your own worth and that you are good enough. And she's using Houdini as a metaphor because he was an escape artist. Really quite clever and way more imaginative than many other pop artists out there. The thing I love about the music video as well is that it's literally just Dew dancing around in a studio for three minutes. Now, the reason why that's significant is that when she first burst onto the scene, she was mocked essentially for not being able to dance. Fast forward to the precipice of her third album, and she can now dance all right. In fact, she's so good now that for the music video for Houdini, it's literally just her dancing in a room. Great stuff. It's a big F you to the haters. Love it. 
Love it. So back to the personnel involved. Did it work? Did Kevin and Dewey pull it off? Well, I think so. There's a lot to like about this new song. The groove especially. But part of me kind of thinks that the song should have been longer. Kind of feels half-baked a little bit to me because I just know that Kevin had more ideas and trying to box them all into three minutes is tough. I would have liked to have heard the extended version because I just know that exists somewhere. But let me know if you think it worked. Do you think they pulled it off? Kevin Parker and Dua Lipa making a song together. Something I thought I'd never see. Now, if you are a fan of Kevin Parker's music, aka Tame Impala, then, shameless plug, you might like my new single, which is out everywhere. It would mean the world to me if you could take a listen and let me know what you think in the comments. I also documented the whole process of making the song on this YouTube channel, so keep watching for a link to a video about that. And don't forget to let me know in the comments below what you thought of the Kevin Parker Julie the collaboration. And with that said, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you ever so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.